<laughs> hey, from writing resumes to interview practice and ironing an outfit, landing a job is a big step for any teenager, but it's often a family effort to make it happen. Yeah, so to help your kids secure their first job is career expert Michelle Gibbings. She joins us now. Michelle, let's talk about that first step. What should we do? Look, the first step is when you think about that child's first job, it is a stepping stone to their next job. So the more, most important thing is to help them get that foot in the door. And that can be hard because they're trying to enter the workforce with little to no prior experience. So, so look, oh sorry, continue Michelle. I was just going to say, so look for the opportunities that are out there. Often organisations will have, you know, extra staff that they take on or interns over holiday periods. So there are seasonal variations that can help you. So where do you think like many teens and their parents might go wrong when they start job hunting? Look, we all have that dream job and your first job isn't likely to be that dream job. And this isn't about discouraging them from aiming high, but help them be realistic about the choices that are out there. It's likely that their first job is going to be part time. It might be an entry level position and often it's going to involve mundane work, but it's a job and they're getting valuable experience. So where, do, where should kids start? I mean, we saw some footage of Maccas there. Is that still some of the best first jobs you can get? Look, there's some great first jobs, you know, working in retail, working in call centres, tutoring. So if you're working um, as a tutor, you're learning skills in, in relation to how you can teach people. If you're working um, as a receptionist at a gym or at a small business, you're learning valuable skills in terms of how to communicate. So all the skills that you get in your first job, they become transferable skills that you can take into your next role. So, I mean, you, you look at a lot of teenagers these days and, and how actually busy they are. They're with, they've got school, they've got homework, they've often got after school activities and all. If you include a part-time or casual job in all of this, uh, have you got any tips as to how to navigate fitting it all in? Work with them around priorities and help them schedule because they are going to be juggling both work commitments, study and also family commitments. But that's also helping them get ready for life because life is always a juggle of different priorities. And the more flexible they are in terms of flexibility around the hours that they can work, location and the type of role they're looking for, that makes it easier for them to get a job and also keep a job. So what happens if your child gets knocked back though, when they go for their first or their second or their third? Are there ways for parents to sort of get their kids to, you kind of want to start to get to callous up, to get tougher in this without sort of mollycoddling them. So how do we encourage them to keep going and keep mm. applying? Yeah, look, the re resilience piece is really important. And so it's the encouragement, it's also being patient with them and helping them work through the learnings because every time they get knocked back, there is valuable experience from that. They've learned in terms of how to craft their CV. They'll have learned how to go through the interview process. So help them focus on those learnings and then work with them around, okay, so what do we do differently next time we're going for that job? So none of that effort is wasted effort. Hey, Michelle, what was your first job? My first job was working in a classical music store selling yeah. records. It how is. How fancy. And, oh, how? Well, it was interesting because the only two songs I really knew were Vivaldi's Four Seasons <laughs> and Pierre Gint's Suite. So anyone who came in basically got sold that. So go back to <laughs> basics, is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, well, it's interesting though because I got the job because my sister used to work there and I used to go in to oh, visit nepotism. her. Oh. Nepotism. And so, yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> that also helps if you want to get a job. All right, Michelle, thanks so much for your time. My pleasure. Well.